All right, in this demonstration, what I'm going to show you how to do is get this uh, local host um, installation of my website uh, up onto my class server or my cPanel server up in the cloud. Okay, and so if you want to just quickly look at it, you know, all the content is here, right? So it's fully fit, filled out, right? We've got like a contact form. We've got all these searchable areas. Okay, so this is the site that we're going to be sending up. So the first thing you want to do is go to your local uh, environment, make sure that you start your control panel uh, services, uh, MySQL and um, Apache. And then you're going to go over here to your dashboard. I'm using Jamp right now. So uh, go to my dashboard and go to PHP My Admin. And what I want to do is find the database that I need to back up. So we'll go to Student SD Places. So I click that to use it. And then I can go over here to Export. And I'm going to go ahead and export uh, using the quick uh, set of rules. And I'll hit go. And I've already downloaded it, but this is what you would do is I created a folder here called uh, localhost SD places. So I would be able to differentiate between the thing that I'm going to be making in just a minute, which is going to be the import file. Uh, that I'm going to uh, send up to the server. So I'm, I'm just going to hit cancel right here, but what you would do is go ahead and save it into something I put in localhost ho local SD places. So, all right, so that's the way that you're going to export that database, first of all. Now, the next thing that you need to do is let's just go, I'm going to use Dreamweaver, and I'm going to go open that uh, SQL file that I just created and open it there. Okay. And so um, this is the file that I just created, and you can see if I hover over it, it's opening the correct SQL file, just in case you have multiple ones. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can search through this. There are going to be things that we need to change, um, namely the host name and a couple of other pathways. So if I do a quick find, uh, first of all, let's just take a peek at our pathway here. So if we look at this uh, local environment, you see that we've got localhost forward slash SD places. What that means is that the host name currently is localhost, but what it's going to be later is it's going to be um, uh, it's going to be on our domain or subdomain of our server, right? So that's something that's going to change. SD places, I, I think I'm going to keep the same, but in the event that like yours is called WordPress on your local computer or something, and then you wanted to change it on the server so that it's not WordPress but it's something else, then you would need to make note of that because this is something you would also need to change when we do our find and replace stuff. All right, but anyway, this is the path that's really important right here, which is the root directory to your WordPress installation. So we're going to actually take a peek. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to look for all of my stuff before I start making changes. So the most common thing that we would find probably is this word SD places. So I'm going to copy that and go to my SQL file in Dreamweaver. And I'm going to do a find, which I did just with command uh, F or control F. And I'll type in the word SD places and I'll click on find all. Okay, and so it found down here 216 items. If you've got a really big database, you could find thousands, you know, so it depends on how, how big you made your website. Um, but one of the things that I like to do is I like to sort of look through this and see all of the different types of instances. For instance, uh, on this one, and you can double click it and it'll jump to the place in the file, right? But um, so that you could see it in context. But right here, it's like defining the site URL, right? That's one of the main things that it's defining right there. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost dot or slash SD places, right? Now, you'll notice that in some of these, if you were to scroll through and look at all of them, that SD places doesn't always have an instance of a forward slash after it and possibly not even before it. So you've got to kind of be careful with how you do your find and replace search uh, patterns. But uh, the other thing too, is if we look a little ways down, you'll see here, it's a little different. It's almost all of these are going to be using an HTTP address, but there are going to be a handful, depending on what kinds of plugins you've used uh, and what kinds of other uh, things you've uploaded and stuff. There might be a handful of uh, places where it makes an absolute path reference. Um, and sometimes I usually don't find more than maybe 
I don't know, five or six of those instances, usually not more than three to five, I would say. But they're important because if you don't fix those and make those match the server too, then it's going to be a problem for your um, WordPress environment, depending on, you know, what that thing is actually doing for you. So uh, right here, I, I, you know, I'm showing you though that this is really important. And so what you're going to need to find out is you're going to have to find out what the path, the absolute file path to SD places is on your actual um, server. And sometimes that's easy and sometimes it's not. One of the things, though, that you'll notice, like if I were to, uh, well, first of all, let's just take care of the ones that are really common, like the one where it says localhost SD places. So I'm going to do a couple of searches and I'm going to pay attention to how many finds it comes up with. All right. So, so first of all, let's do another quick find. And instead of just looking for SD places, I'm going to look for localhost forward slash SD places. And notice I'm not putting the HTTP scheme. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to find every instance of this. And I'm only putting the number of forward slashes that I absolutely have to have. OK, so I'm going to do find all. You see that comes up with 197 items. Right before we had a little over 200. And so that means <clears throat> that the majority of the instances uh, of SD places happens to be in the uh, URL address, which is localhost SD places. So one of the things that you want to think about when you're trying to do your find and replace is you want to make sure you replace stuff in the correct order. Like if I were to go and since most of the instances that, you know, 197 of those 200 and I think 12 or something like that instances were localhost forward slash SD places, um, one of the things that is a little concerning to me is that um, if I replaced all of those, it might be kind of hard to find the other needles in the haystack, right, that are just a lot fewer. So maybe it's easier to change the ones that are fewer first, and then we're, we're going to have to just sort of sit there and make sure our numbers are right. So if we go back and look through here, and you notice, remember, that there was an instance, um, let's see, where was it? I think um, there was uh, an instance where it was looking in the JAMP folder. Um, well, I know that it was, so uh, if you're not sure where to look, I will go ahead and tell you. If you're using JAMP, then what we're going to do is a new find, and we're going to find the ones where it's using the absolute path. So um, let's just do a search for uh, JAMP, X-A-M-P-P, -P, all uppercase, and it is case sensitive. Uh, unless you, let's see, match case. Actually, right now it is case insensitive. If you wanted to match the case, you could click that down here. So let's do find all for JAMP. And it found six items, okay? So it only found six items. Um, and uh, the uh, if you do sort of the math, right, that's 197 plus six. That ends up being 203 items. And I think that SD places, um, we ended up finding, I think, 212, if you want to make sure. So that leaves about eight of them unaccounted for. So if we do a find and we do uh, SD places again. And actually, let's put a, that's actually, let's just do a find all and see what we come up with. It comes up with 216, not 212. All right. One of the things that it's finding right up the top, it has two dashes in front of it. All right, remember that's a comment. It's just that one's unimportant. All right, it's just a comment. That's all it is. So if you find anything that's got like a dash in front of it, that's not important at all. Um, but I just wanted to point out that there might be some in here, like for instance, this one, where it's got a forward slash, but it doesn't have localhost or any other pathway in front of it. And because we're keeping the name SD places the same on the localhost as it is, or on the server as it is on the localhost, we don't actually have to change this. If, however, let's say that you were changing the name of that folder, then it would be very important that you find all instances of SD places. That's actually really important. And so the order in which you would want to do these searches uh, really does make a difference. So uh, let's just, let's go through here and see what we can do. First of all, I think I want to find all those instances of JAMP first, and I want to see where we need to do a change. So let's first do a find, and we'll go back here. And oops, let's do this again, I'll find all. All right, and the, all of these are these absolute paths, right? 
because it's looking, you could have also looked for HT docs, like if you're using MAMP or something like that, uh, that uses HT docs folder as well. Anyway, um, so we're looking for this, all right? Now, we need to know what to replace this with. And one of the easy ways to figure it out is sort of, there's a hint right here. It says script underscore file name. Well, we know that that uh, happens to be a server super global array key. All right, that's a key name. So if we were to go into our um, uh, our cPanel, let's go over here to cPanel. And what I've done in the file manager is I created a file called path.php and I just put it in the root directory of my, um, uh, let's see, go up a level. Yeah, in of the root directory of my public, dot, or public HTML folder, my web serving directory. And if I do a code editor, quick view on it, you'll see that all I did was I echoed out the script file name for the server super global array. All right, that's all I did. And if I were to go to that page, you see here, it tells me what that path is. Well, this is the path that you would need to replace all the way up to HT docs, right? So where it says home, student, public, HTML, right? That's what you would need. So let's just really quickly take a look at that again. And let's jump back. And this will almost always work, but there are some servers where it might not work because it tries to hide some of the pathways and doing weird re redirections and things like that. So just be aware of that. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and uh, let's just let's double click on one of these um, and let's find it in the uh, here. Let me close this up a little bit. All right, and see it it pops it up right here. So I'm going to just copy this pathway all the way up to the end of SD places. And you'll notice there's no forward slash, right? So if you, now here's the thing. If you are changing the name of SD places to something else, then you would need to copy this entire path. If you aren't, then really all you need right here is you need this right here, okay? So all the way up to, oh, sorry, up, up to HT docs. Okay, so if you're not changing the name of what you're calling it on the server, then just leave it here. So I'm going to copy this, and now let's uh, go back into our find and replace. Let's go to find, and we're going to find that, and we're going to replace it with this. Okay, All right, this is my absolute path. Let's jump back over here, and we are going to say replace all. You can double check, make sure that like if, if this has a forward slash at the end, you need to make sure that this one also does. If this has a forward slash at the beginning, again, also here as well. So let's do a replace all. Okay, and now what you can do is if you wanted to double check, remember all of those started with the word applications. If you wanna make sure that you got everything, we can just do a search for the word applications and we'll put a forward slash after it and we'll do find all. And it came up with nothing, so that's fine. So now if we go back to find again, let's look for all the instances of uh, local host. I got to spell it right. Local host forward slash SD places. Okay. So let's look for all these instances. All right. So let's do a find all. And it found 197 items again. All right. And so we can go in here and we can make that change. Uh, so that it puts our correct URL in there. So let's just do that real quick. So let's do another find. And uh, instead of localhost, what we're going to have is um, our domain. In my case, it's uh, student.matmcc.org for the time for for the this particular um, instance. This semester. All right, so that's the example that I have. So I'm replacing localhost forward slash SD places with student.matmcc.org forward slash SD places because these two things are the host names. Okay, so we'll do find all, actually, we'll do replace all. Okay, and all right, so then we're good there. Now you'll notice up here I haven't, this is actually still the old file, so I'm going to do a file save as. And I'm going to save it on the desktop in a different place, and I'll call it uh, uh, to import on server. All right, so I'll know that it's the import file and not just my my old backup. I'll say no to update links. Okay, and so now 
it's uh, saved it as a copy for me. All right, and so I don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, so I'm going to close the old one. All right, now if I wanted to just do another really quick test, I can do a find and make sure that there are no more instances anywhere of localhost. Let's try that, just localhost. Let's do a find all. Okay, and you'll see here that it's actually still looking for localhost. Before we were looking for localhost SD places, now we're just looking for localhost. Well, okay, now we need to replace just the localhost part and make sure that we catch that. All right, so let's do that again. Let's do a find. And then we're going to change it to our domain or subdomain in this case, student.matmcc.org. Okay, replace all. Okay, and then now we'll do another find for, let's see what we come up with, localhost, find all, nothing. That's good. And then if we wanted to do another find, uh, we could look for SD places, and of course it is going to find a lot, okay? So we're going to do a find all, and then we can just sort of visually scan through and make sure you don't see anything that looks weird. Like here, this is good, that changed our um, pathway to where that was going to go. All right, anyway, um, and 216 records, that's not that much. If you had to look through thousands, um, you know, you could scan a little bit faster and fix it if you had a problem. But so far, these are all looking pretty good to me. All right, and so I think we're set. All right, so uh, I'm going to save this file. And then now what I'll do is I'll go back up here to my cPanel. And uh, actually, we're going to go to the main cPanel page, to the home page. And um, there's some different ways that I could do this. I'm just going to show you how to do uh, through PHP my admin, just in case, you know, whatever. You can do it any old way you want. But all right, I still have my student SD places um, uh, database up here. And um, this might be the case, like if you didn't do any kind of development up on the server before, then you might not even have a database with a database name, in which case you're going to have to go and make it. If I click here, um, you'll see that it actually has some stuff in there. I'm not going to delete the entire database. I'm just going to delete the old tables. Uh, make sure that before you do this, that you're actually in the class server. And the way that you'll know for sure is, first of all, it'll be a different uh, address up here. It'll be an IP address. Make sure that you're not in your localhost environment. You don't want to delete your actual stuff out of localhost. In fact, just to be safe, I'm going to close my tr my own computer's localhost, and I'm going to go to um, the cPanel localhost uh, server environment that I just opened up. And, and you know, if the PHP versions are the same, they're going to end up looking identical. The way that you're going to tell is by looking at the IP address up here and also where it says server, excuse me, server colon localhost colon 3306. All right, so that's how I know I'm in the right one. And I don't want these old tables that are here. Um, and as I said before, if you don't already have this, what you'll have to do is go into your main cPanel and you'll have to go into the MySQL database wizard and you'll have to make an account that uh, is, or have to make a database with the same database name, if that's possible. If you if you can't make it as the same database name as what was on your computer, then um, you'll have to uh, just make make something and a username, and you'll have to later change your PHP my admin stuff. But you'll have to create this and a user account. Okay, but let's just say that like in our class, you went ahead and you made something on the server before, and now you're just trying to update it with what you had on your local computer. Well. Go in there, use the student SD places database, and you're going to uh, select all of these tables here. And with selected, you're going to drop them. And then you'll say yes. And now they're gone. OK, so now what you can do is you can come in here and you can import that data that you just created. So we're going to go to the desktop. Here's my to import on server file. So I'll click on open. Go ahead and click on go. And this might take a second. All right, while that is importing, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, uh, oh, and there it goes. Everything is there. So that's good. So now what I want to do is I can either 
uh, upload my stuff through FTP from my HT docs to here, or I can do it through the file manager. And what I'm going to do so I can have a compressed version is um, I am going, let's go here to, uh, let's go up a directory here. I'm going to go into my HT talks folder. And this is my SD places folder that I want to take from my HT docs local computer and put on the server. Now I can't just drag and drop a folder like this, but what I can do, I can right click this and I can choose to compress SD places and I can upload it as a single file. All right. So that is something that I can do. All right. Now uh, I'll click, make sure that you're in your public HTML folder. Okay in the cPanel, and then uh, you can click on Upload. Okay, and this is where I'm going to drag and drop. Oops, I'm going to drag and drop my compressed folder. All right, and it's going to start uploading. Okay, so it is uh, complete, and if I, I can just click to go back, that's fine. Uh, and you see that now SD places zip is there. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose to extract it. And we're going to extract it directly into the public HTML folder. Okay. All right. And so now we've got SD places here. All right. And we also have this weird thing. If you see something that says Mac OS X, it does this weird thing. Um, you can get rid of that. I'm just actually going to hit delete. It's a, um, like a set of fork files that become unhidden on non-Mac computers. Anyway, um, okay, so we've got SD places. Now the thing that I want to do is I want to make sure, I just want to take a peek and see if it looks okay. So if I go back over here now, let's just go to my main domain and I can click on SD places and it says that there's an internal server error. So let's take a look and see what could could possibly be wrong. I'm going to go back to the file manager. And first thing I want to look at, if you see something like that, is that you might have a problem possibly with um, uh, your permissions. So I'm going to look over here at my permissions and I'm going to change this to uh, 755. Actually, let's put the zero in front. We'll save that. And if you want to go ahead and test it and see if you refresh it, if you still have a problem, and we do not, okay, uh, that was the issue is that it just didn't give us the correct, um, it didn't give us the correct permissions. Now let's make sure that we don't have any other weird issues. So if I click on this, you can see that I can maybe go to a different page. Let's take a look at our page. It looks like our form is there. Uh, let's go and just maybe pick a search, uh, categorical search. And it looks like we've got some different stuff and make sure our pictures are loading okay. Looks like everything is loading. All right. It's uh, not too bad. All right. So now we've got our stuff up on the website. And then if you wanted to, if you had any problems like, like where it said that it can't find a page, maybe it loads your initial page, but then it can't find a page. One of the things that you can do is you can go into your WP admin. And WordPress has gotten better about this. It used to be that you always had to do this, but um, just in case, just one troubleshooting thing is that you could go down here to um, where it says settings and go to your permalinks. And then basically just by even going to this page, it will it will reset some stuff. It'll basically refresh a lot of your settings. You could also, um, you know, resave your changes um, and that should potentially help you. All right. So anyway, that's how you can migrate something up very simply. Um, and it will almost every single time work properly. Um, there might be some little issue, like maybe uh, there's a possibility sometimes when you migrate something else that can happen is if you go to uh, appearance and then go to menus. Sometimes one of the things that you also have to do um, is uh, you might have to go and find some important menu item uh, that you've got set up, like instead of categorical search or you know, pages or whatever, you might need to go and uh, add a checkbox or something like that. Um, if I go over um, to themes and widgets, you might need to just check a couple of those things. But generally speaking, that's all you need to do anymore. WordPress has gotten a lot better about uh, fixing things whenever, whenever you um, migrate like that. 
Oh, and uh, one last thing is if you did change the pathway here um, and you change the name here, um, that hidden HT access file, you, by going into WordPress, uh, doing what I just showed you, it should have resaved that uh, hidden HT access file to update your settings. But in the event that it didn't, you might need to go in and open that hidden HT access file and make sure that its uh, search path is proper properly set so like the search path would be like forward slash sd places forward slash index.php so that would be its rewrite path um, from localhost but like let's say that this wasn't called sd places anymore let's call say it was called um, you know my favorite places or something then you would need to go and change it so that it was forward slash my favorite places forward slash uh, index.php in the HT access file. Okay, that should do it.